Hi, my name is Brett Yonker, and welcome to Day 14 of the Lent Project. I love these readings because we're joining in with people all over the world, and we're looking back at the faithfulness of God, while at the same time looking forward to what Jesus did on Easter when he rose from the dead. Let's just take a, a minute of silence and just ask God for guidance and inspiration in our time today. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will forever be. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. In Psalm 62, it says, Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. In John 4, 43 through 54, we see the story where Jesus heals an officer's son. And it says this, it says, in verse 43, after the two days he left for Galilee. Now Jesus himself had pointed out that the prophets have no honor in their own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they also had been there. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal, off the royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that that was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. When I think about this story, you can just think about what that royal official is going through as his son is, is, is on his deathbed and he comes to Jesus. And, and what I love is that there's this, there's this pivotal moment in this, in this passage where Jesus says, hey, you're not going to believe unless you see signs and wonders. Well, he, he continues to say, say, Jesus, come, come and heal my son. And so Jesus tells him, he says, well, go, your son will live. And here's this moment, this hinge moment of the whole story where he says, the man took Jesus at his word and departed. That's pretty remarkable that he would take Jesus at his word and he had faith that Jesus would do what he said he would do. Now you gotta think that on that walk home, that he's, all these feelings and thoughts of anxiety are coming at him. But what I love is that this man had faith, that he had faith in Jesus, in his word. 
And so today, we ask God to let His truth, to let His Word be our refuge in times of trouble. Take a moment and pause to reflect on today's reading. A song to the Lamb, Revelation 4, 11, 5, 9, 10, 13. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise and dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So let this simple prayer carry you through the day. Lord, be my refuge. Let your word, let your truth be my refuge. Thanks for being a part of this journey, and we'll see you tomorrow.